So if any of you guys have ever actually checked out episode 8 of the Ruby and Sapphire Soul Link, then you would know that I grew up in a family of magicians. We talked about it a lot in this episode, so if you ever want to go back and check out that episode, I highly recommend it. <laughs> But yeah, no, it's true. Growing up, me and my family actually did magic shows. We competed in magic competitions, we toured around the US, and we did all sorts of stuff. It was actually really, really cool. We've been on different TV shows like Chris Angel's Mind Freak or America's Most Talented Kids. Like right there is a picture of my dad and my brother getting interviewed by Dave Coulier. Now, over the holiday season, me and my family obviously had some Christmas magic shows and magic routines to do. This morning, what I did was I found the old VCR camera and all of the 8mm tapes that my parents actually recorded of us growing up throughout these shows. And for today's intro moment, we're gonna go over one of our Christmas magic routines. If you want me to actually go over a lot of these older magic routines in some future videos, I'm totally down for it. There was a routine where I was Elvis Presley, or I did stuff with a rabbit. It was some really, really fun times. Now, I am gonna have to throw out there that the music that my dad used in this routine is actually copyrighted here on YouTube, so I'm not gonna show the full uncut version in this video, but if you want to watch the entire magic routine, there will be a video you can click on in the upper right hand corner or a link down in the description to watch a private video where the music is completely uncut. <laughs> so the song that we used for this magic routine was I'm Dreaming of a White Christmas by Bing Crosby. My dad would take a sheet of paper and a pair of scissors and start cutting little snowflakes out of this sheet of paper. And then what he would do with these snowflakes is he would take them and put them into this little glass bowl. And then timed out to the music, let me just show you. Yo, that's me! My parents dressed me up as a little elf and they would have me walk across the stage holding sleigh bells whenever the music would say, and sleigh bells listen. So after putting the sheets of paper into this glass bowl, my dad would stir it all up, put his hand into the bowl, and grab all the snowflakes again. At this point in the song, it would go, May all of your days be merry and bright. And look at what Ryan the Little Elf did. May your days be merry and bright. And may all... I'd walk across the stage with a flashlight and blind the audience, man. Try to tell me that shit ain't adorable. And then at the end of the routine, my dad would take a fan and start waving it to create an actual snowstorm on stage. That's when my whole family came out, and I would end off the show by saying... Yeah, even when I was five years old, I was annoying as hell. <laughs> so, I'm gonna end off this intro moment by showing some footage of me trying to get out of this elf costume, because honestly, it's funnier than the actual routine itself. And then I'm gonna add some of my own sound effects 14 years later. <laughs> Welcome to episode 3. Hopefully you enjoy today's video. Merry Christmas. Give you milk and cookies like your Santa Claus. I give you milk and cookies like your Santa Claus. I give you milk and cookies like your Santa Claus. Vinny and Keyshawn, you know we got bars. Hey everybody, King Corfish here and welcome on back to episode 3 of the Pokemon Christmas Wedlock. How are you all doing? Welcome back to another episode. Let me all tell you guys right now. It is currently... 1.35 in the morning, okay? I am not necessarily bulk recording, but I'm making sure that I knock out two episodes of the series tonight to make sure that this series does not miss a single episode. I want to finish this entire game before Christmas, my dudes, and in order to do that, we're going to make sure that we get our episodes up on time and on a consistent basis from now until Christmas, damn it. And with that being said, I'm not going to slack off at all on this project. I'm hyped. If you're hyped, make sure you smash that like button and let's start off this episode with a powerful 
team recap in the last episode we got a brand new team member we got a gym badge we got some tms it's super exciting stuff so hopefully y'all are hyped because in today's episode we're gonna be going through a cave we're gonna be taking on team rocket we're gonna literally have to save christmas and if we still have time at the end of the episode i want to take on bugsy as well but that is a lot of stuff to get done in one episode so we got to make sure that we are going at an efficient rate right now so let's actually get ahead and start on this team recap so first things first i'm the realist we've got mysterious the pidgey rocking out the normal flying typing with level 16 with the female gender this is a wedlock so you got to make sure that you specify the genders okay pokemon can only be paired by gender and we have tackle sand attack gust and quick attack <laughs> next up we have pyro who is paired with mysterious the pidgey rocking out with the fire typing level 16 with the male gender pyro is the starter that you guys did not choose however Pyro actually made his way over from the Pokemon Christmas Nuzlocke into the Pokemon Christmas Wedlock. Actually, if you want to get even more technical than that, Pyro came from Vinny's Pokemon Fire Red Randomizer Nuzlocke to the Pokemon Christmas Nuzlocke to the Pokemon Christmas Wedlock. Pyro is a very travelly boy. This man does not die. This man does not die. He never died in the Christmas Nuzlocke. I'm pretty sure he didn't die in the Fire Red Randomizer Nuzlocke. That's a mini series, so I'm actually not entirely sure on that one, but I'm pretty positive he didn't die let me know down in the comments but he's made his way all the way to the christmas wedlock it's so damn hype but yeah no pyro is paired with mysterious the pidgey fire type in 16 with the male gender rocking out with tackle leer smoke screen and ember if you haven't picked up on how the wedlock rules work so far basically how it is is two pokemon on each team is paired with each other i'm only allowed to switch between those two specific pokemon i'm not allowed to switch between pairs so technically we're playing this game with three teams of two we're not playing this game with one team of six this is a more difficult lock type than a nuzlocke so on to the next pair on the team we have gogeta the spiro male gender at level 15 rocking out with the normal flying typing i just dropped my controller shit but he's rocking out the normal flying typing with Peck, Growl, Leer, and Fury Attack. Next up, paired with Gogeta, we have Crystal Thratata rocking out at level 15 with the female gender with the normal typing. And his moveset is not his sure moveset. You can tell it is almost 2 in the morning. I'm getting tired. Uh, today has literally been an all-day day. I went... And actually, you know what? I'll tell you guys about my day after the team recap. We got to move, all right? We got the moves. So Tackle, Tail Whip, Quick Attack, and Hyper Fang. Next up is the next and final pair on the team. We have Freak the Zubat rocking out of level 15 with the male gender. But the Poison and Flying ability. Not ability. Abilities aren't even in Gen 2. God, I'm tired. Poison and Flying typing. This man is a very special typing. I don't really see a problem with Poison and Flying, to be honest. Because honestly... That is a very obscure typing. It works. I'm happy with it. With Leech Life, Supersonic, and Bite. And Bite comes in clutch. Let me tell you what. And paired with Freak the Zubat, we have our brand new Sparky the Pikachu. This man is right here. He's a static Pokemon from Violet City. I literally just ripped out my earbuds. I don't know if you guys saw that or not. I moved my hand down. And I literally just tore those things out of my ears. God, this episode is all over the place, but I'm having fun. If you guys are having fun, make sure you smash that like button, follow me on Twitter, and add me on Snapchat, King Corfish. But we have Sparky the Pikachu right here at level 2, Electro Typing with Thundershock and Growl, holding the experience share, because I want to make sure this Sparky gets leveled up a little bit in today's episode, because I'm not about to try to fight things with Sparky, and this is definitely my weakest pair. Like, freaking Sparky, freakest, he can hold his own a little bit, he's level 15, he's up to par with other wild Pokemon and trainer Pokemon, but he's still a very frail boy. His only move that really works out for him is Bite. Leech Life kind of is trash. And then Sparky's level two. So this pair, don't quite want to use it yet, but I am happy with it because in the future, that pair will be so powerful. So next up, we have Mysterious and Pyro, who's definitely our strongest pair because obviously we have our starter Pokemon and then a Pidgey, who's going to eventually evolve into Pidgeotto. And I kind of want to look up real quick. I'm just going to casually do it right now. I'm not even going to cut all this out. Frank, <clears throat> something just went down my throat. Oh, my God. Frank texted me, but I want to make sure to respond to him. I'm going to do that after this episode because we are not going to have too many distractions in today's episode. So what level does Pidgey evolve? I want to see uh, what level this man is going to evolve. He evolves at level 18. So that is actually very, very, very soon. 
I'm going to casually look up uh, also while I'm looking at it, the other Pokemon here on the team. So what time does Spearow evolve? Uh, because I really, really want to see what level does Spearow evolve. Spearow will evolve at level 20. So that is slightly after Mysterious. So I think we should work on Mysterious. And then I want to see what level will Ratata evolve. Rattata is going to be evolving at also level 20, so that's actually kind of lit. So both Pokemon in that pair evolves at level 20. So once you get Mysterious evolved, then we can start working on Gogeta and Crystal is the strategy that I'm thinking we're going to rock out with. And then just while we're knocking it all out, let's see what level is Zubat going to evolve. I know Golbat evolves into Crobat with Friendship, but Zubat's going to evolve at level 22. So basically, this entire team is about to rock out with their cocks out at level 20s. So... Uh, literally, I just ran through the entire plan, just right there in my head, uh, and out loud while Googling everything. We're going to rock out with Mysterious up in front in today's episode, because I really want to make sure that we get that Pidgeotto. It will come in clutch so much for this episode. And actually, we are in a brand new route and slash or area right now. So, if there's any grass, which there is, we can get a brand new encounter. I'm pretty sure we don't have any balls, though. So, I want to casually go back up to Violet City. And let's go buy some balls because because we took on the gym leader in the last episode. We have a little bit of cash. We have a little bit of money. All right. We have $1,600. That is enough for how many balls? It's enough for eight Pokeballs. Uh, hopefully, this will be good. I really want to get something really cool. What are you? Whoa, we got a miracle seed. Okay, that was a lot of text, and I was just like, I don't want to read. All right, guys, seriously, it is almost 2 in the morning. Please give me a little bit of slack if this episode's all over the place. If I'm just like, eh, about like, reading or something. I'm trying my best to bring the hype, bring the energy, bring the positive vibes in today's episode. I really want to have some fun. Hopefully, you guys are down to have some fun as well. I just... God, it's 2 in the morning, but I'm not missing an episode. I'm not missing an episode of Pokemon Christmas. This series, I want to knock it out of the park, okay? Pokemon Christmas Nuzlocke was my favorite project I've done on the channel yet. Solo project. So, I really... That's a lot of hype to live up to. That is a lot for this series. Uh, this is just... Gosh, I want to make sure that this series is as good as possible. So, with that being said, though, we are going about... We are, blah, 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 blah. we are about to get another encounter in this route. This encounter can be in any gender at all. It does not matter what gender this Pokemon needs to be because it can be good as long as it is not a dupes. And a Bellsprout is what we are rocking out with, a female one. So actually, uh, this is actually something that I do want to bring up because I never actually talked about it in the rules in the uh, episode one episode. But if a Pokemon were to die on the team, it's not like a Soul Link where both Pokemon die. Think about it as in if one Pokemon dies, then that Pokemon's out. So let's actually go ahead and let's use Mysterious and Pyro as an example. So Mysterious is a female, right? So that means that he's paired, she's paired with Pyro, the male. If Mysterious dies, then we have to go into the PC and we have to find another female Pokemon to be linked with Pyro. Pyro won't die if Mysterious dies. Don't think about it like a Soul Link in that sense. Uh, this lock is simultaneously harder than a Soul Link, but easier than a Soul Link is kind of weird to explain. So, uh, catching Pokemon, that, having our strongest pair up in front to catch this Bellsprout was not our best idea, because I'm a little bit scared to hit this Bellsprout. Bellsprout, I'm pretty sure, is a little bit weak, but it doesn't even matter. We just caught this thing first try, didn't even need to attack it. So, with that being said, as you guys know how this series works at this point, I like to go into the previous episode's comment section in order to name Pokemon after you guys in this series. That is how we do Pokemon Christmas on this channel. We go into the comments and we name each and every single one of these Pokemon after you guys in the comment section. We have not had a Bellsprout in this series yet, so I am really, really excited to use a Bellsprout. Uh, but actually, at the same time, we're going to be putting this man in the PC... Well, this woman in the PC, I'm sorry, because you're not allowed to swap pairs. You're not allowed to change pairs. Once a Pokemon is paired with another Pokemon, that is it until one of those Pokemon die. We're not allowed to change pairs. So, Bellsprout's about to go into the PC, but that is some power in the PC. A Victory Bell would be awesome. So, I'm going to go into the comment section, and I'm going to look at what Pokemon should be named after one of you guys in the comment section. I, God, I'm tired. It's 2 in the morning. All right, I'll see you guys in a second.
Alright, I am back and I just checked out the comment section in episode 1 of Pokemon Christmas. Like I said at the beginning of this episode, I'm bulk recording. I recorded episodes 2 and 3 in the same recording session. So actually, episode 2 isn't public yet for me to be able to go back and look at that comment section to see what you guys could potentially be nicknamed after. So what I had to do was I had to go to episode 1 of this series and try to name a Pokemon after someone in that comment section. So hopefully you guys are okay with that, but there's really nothing else that I can do. But in the comment section of episode one of Pokemon Christmas, Alpha commented down below, I was so hyped for her milk and cookies, man. I was in the preview chat for the full hour the chat was up. So Alpha, my dude, Thank you so much for your support on Milk and Cookies. Thank you so much for the support on this series. Thank you so much for your support in general. It means the world to me, and that is why you're going to be nicknamed after this Bellsprout, which is a powerful Pokemon. I'm really, really happy with that. And honestly, yo, Sparky just grew to level 3. Hell yeah, boy. <laughs> so I'm so excited for just this series in general. I'm so happy. I'm so happy that Alpha, you, you got to be a part of the channel and everything. So uh, also, I'd like to throw out there as well. That, uh, Alpha, when he made that comment down below, alright, I responded to that comment, I said, yo, episode 3, you're nicknamed after a Pokemon. So, if you get a response to the comment, like, keep your eyes peeled. If you leave a comment on this episode, go back and, like, check this comment every once in a while. If I respond to it, that means that you got a nickname after you in a future episode of the series. I'm gonna make sure to respond to everybody in the comment section who gets a Pokemon named after them because I want to make sure that y'all know that you have a Pokemon nicknamed after you. Like, if you miss an episode or something and you got a Pokemon nicknamed after you and then we, like, end up not using that. Like, what if we end up not using that, uh, Bellsprout? I want to make sure that Alpha knows. I want to make sure that Alpha knows that he got a nickname in this series, so... I'm really excited just about all this, and it seems like Alpha is an incredibly loyal member of this community. He said that he was in the preview chat before Milk and Cookies dropped, and in case you guys didn't know, uh, what Vinny did over on his channel uh, for the Milk and Cookies lyric video, which by the way, I edited the Milk and Cookies lyric video, hi, I'm proud of it, uh, but what Vinny did for that project is he did YouTube's brand new premiere feature, which is really, really freaking cool to be honest. Basically what it does is you can take any video that you make, you can post it to YouTube and then have it premiere at a certain time where all of the viewers who are watching will watch that video live in real time before it's technically uploaded to YouTube. And then all the people watching this video being premiered on the website can also get a uh, live chat. Everybody can talk to each other. Everybody can react. And we basically can watch a video together. So Vinny experimented with that brand new Pokemon premiere feature. Pokemon premiere. That brand new YouTube premiere feature with the Milk and Cookies lyric video. And it was so damn hype. I was in the premiere uh, live chat as well. Keyshawn was there. Dylan was there. Frank was there. All of us were there together as a friend group. All watching this video together. All getting hype. And all supporting each other. Because that's what we love to do here on the channel is... Uh, we just love to support each other. Like, not only are we just all YouTubers, not only are we one big community, we are all one group of best friends who will literally support each other no matter what through anything. We are very, very supportive over what we do as a friend group. We all love each other. Literally, I am so happy to be a part of this friend group, let me tell you. I am so fortunate and blessed to have some pretty damn good friends, some pretty damn supportive friends who I can come to for literally, like, anything. I can literally come to them with anything. Wooper would have been a great Pokemon to have. Holy shit, I really wish we would have gotten Wooper. Granted, the Wooper would have been put in the PC, and it's not even like Bellsprout's bad either. Like, I'm actually pretty damn happy with the Bellsprout as well. So honestly, it's not bad by any means that we have a Bellsprout. In, in some cases, that might even be better than Wooper. But I mean, like, a water type would have been good. In all honesty, the thing that I'm most, like, nervous about when it comes to this, uh, <laughs> when it comes to this team that I'm rocking out with this playthrough is honestly, here, let's go look at it. We have Normal Flying Fire. We have Normal Flying Normal. And then we have Poison Flying Electric. That's a lot of normal, and we have two flying types. So in all honesty, that's not a very diverse team. We have three normal types, and two of them happen to also be flying types. So that's a lot of repetition as far as typings. Now, granted, there's not much that we can really do about that, because, I mean, we kind of have to just keep... We have to keep what we have, all right? I'm not about to sack Pokemon, because that's just lame. So in all honesty, we just have to keep doing it. Yo, we found a great ball, yo, bet. That's gonna be pretty damn useful when we get in this cave. Hopefully in this cave, we might be able to get a Geodude or maybe even Onix. 
I'm pretty sure the Onyx is actually in this cave. So actually, though, my dudes, we're about to get another encounter that will potentially be nicknamed after you guys in the comments. What is it? It is Sandshrew. I am slightly disappointed, not even going to lie. If we kill this thing, I wouldn't even be mad. So what we're going to do is we're going to send out Pyro, and we're going to go for Ember. If Ember doesn't kill, then I'm fine with catching this. If not, then I mean, I'm really not going to be too phased. And oh, no, we didn't catch it. Oh, well. Here's my reason why I'm like that. I know it's a ground type, so in all honesty, that's actually kind of lit. But ground is like not... Well, it's not even that there's anything wrong with the round type. It's just that Sandshrew in this game isn't good. It's a level up moveset. It doesn't get any ground moves. I don't think it thing gets Earthquake until like 5th gen. I don't know. I'm not too excited for Sandshrew. Ah, that's what you have, bitch. You're about to lose. What? <laughs> but all, honestly, I'm not too concerned about uh, not getting a Sandshrew. I think our team looks great as is. I know I'm just talking about, oh, there's not enough diversity. There's a lot of repetition in the typings, but... Sandshrew is not the way to fix that. But right here, we got ourselves a potion, which I am incredibly happy with. I'm incredibly happy with. We are only one level away until our Pidgey will evolve. So I'm going to casually, like, keep grinding out of every single wild Pokemon that we get so far. Uh, how do we progress down? Oh, that's how we do it. Okay, cool. All right, let me tell you guys right now, the last time that I played through a Gen 2 Pokemon game was actually for the Heart Gold and Soul Silver Soul Link. I know technically that's not Gen 2, that was Gen 4. But it's based off of Johto. So the last time I played through Johto, we're going to preference it with that. The last time I played through Johto was with the Heart Gold and Soul Silver Soul Link. Rock is not a good matchup against this pair. I just realized that. I just now realized that. Rock is not good against this pair. That is super effective on both Pokemon. That is scary. If we run into a rock type, like a stronger one than level 7... That is deadass terrifying. So we're going to go for a quick attack that does not do much. Uh, okay, I want to send out Pyro. I want to send out Pyro. Let's try maybe Ember will do a little bit more. Okay, cool. 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 It's not that that was a scary situation because I think it was only level 7. But in a wedlock, like I said, you could only switch between two Pokemon. You're not allowed to switch between pairs. Oh my gosh, you have another Geodude. Is this about to be a higher level? is okay now i'm getting scared because now we're 11 that is much closer to pyro's level luckily ember did a lot to that first geodude so maybe a few levels above didn't even get it to the yellows please don't have a rock move oh god this is actually scary okay all right let's go for another ember uh if you crit and kill that'd be great nope nope don't have oh that did not even crit okay all right we're gonna have to go for a potion right there okay Oh my god. Okay, 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 okay. We need to step back and think. So we had 42 HP that brought it down to 24. It is 2 in the morning. I'm not doing math. It's 2 in the morning. I'm not doing math. 42 minus 24. It's 18. Okay, so that does 18 damage. We can live a non crit. So, literally, because it does 18 damage and potions here for heal for 20, it does. Less damage than potions heal for. Okay, cool. You go for tackle. I'm okay with that. We can go for an ember. That will kill. That is fine. Here is the problem, though. You still have one more Pokemon. You still have a third Pokemon. I am absolutely terrified right now. I'm absolutely terrified right now. Sparky just grew to level 11. That's good for you, Sparky. What are you trying to learn? Quickle tickle? Okay, cool. Uh, you don't need Growl and Tail Whip, so I'm thinking we're gonna get rid of Tail Whip, because Tail Whip will lower their defense, which means that our Quick Attack will do more, rather than Growl lowering their attack, so I, I just like that. It's a little bit more of an offensive strategy rather than a defensive strategy, which is kind of how I like to play Pokemon games. And you have a third Geodude. Oh god, that is terrifying. You have a third Geodude? That is terrifying. And- it's Oh, it's level 9! Okay, cool. Okay. All right, that is less terrifying. Okay, that was a big old weight lifted off my shoulders. I think I played that the best that I could. Obviously, we didn't lose in Pokemon, so I don't think I could have played that worse. But holy crap, that was terrifying. I need to, I need to go back to a Pokemon Center and heal up. I know, like, I, I know we're not tagged up too bad, but if there's another Geodude, that'll be terrifying. If there's another Geodude, that will be terrifying. And there was literally a Pokemon Center right outside of this cave, so I have no excuse to not go and heal up right now. So honestly, Mysterious can knock out these Zubats, no problem. I'm happy all you have is Zubats. Let's go 
Let's go heal. I'm not going to risk another... Oh, Vulpix would have been so cool. But honestly, we have Pyro. And I'm not out here trying to lose Pyro. So, I'm pretty okay with this. Uh, I'm pretty okay with that. Oh, Swine Up would have been awesome, though. Now I'm a little salty. I would have loved to have a Swine Up. Now, granted, like I just talked about earlier, uh, it's not like we can just go into the Pokemon Center uh, and just go grab another Pokemon from the PC uh, and swap it out. Once you have a pair, you cannot swap it between that pair. Those pairs are linked. You do not get to swap out that pair until another Pokemon dies. So, that is something that just adds to the Wedlock Challenge. Not a lot of people actually do Wedlocks here on the channel, so I'm not on, the on YouTube. Marilyn invented this Nuzlocke type variant, so it's really cool that I'm actually playing somebody else's uh, thing and somebody else's creation and showing a lot more love throughout this community. This is a really cool lock type, and I really wanted to do something a lot more different on the channel rather than just your standard randomizer nose lock. And we just got another great ball. Yo, bet that's our second great ball. Uh, but you know, I didn't want to do like a randomizer nose lock or nose lock because I mean, we already did a nose lock. And I didn't want to do a let's play because I mean, a let's play Pokemon on Christmas wouldn't be as fun. Like, obviously, nose locks are a lot more exciting because they're more difficult. Right here, we have an X attack. Yo, bet. But, you know, Nuzlocke's aren't necessarily as ex Well, Nuzlocke's are more exciting than just a standard Let's Play. I didn't want to do a regular Let's Play. I wanted to bring some excitement to the channel. I wanted to bring some variety, something different. Like, last year we did a Nuzlocke, so I wasn't about to do another Nuzlocke. So, uh, we're doing a Wedlock this time around. And honestly, though, Pokemon Christmas is my favorite ROM hack, and I'm so happy that I'm playing it again because it just feels great. I know it's literally just, like, gold, silver, crystal. I know there's, like, barely any differences, but it just feels good to be playing Christmas again. I don't know if that's weird or not. I don't know. Honestly, I think I just have a problem where I just really like the, uh, the holiday of Christmas. So, right there, you had a slow poke. I was not about to send out Pyro against that, and obviously, we can't switch to anybody else because it's a wedlock. I know I've been mentioning it a lot, but I want to make sure I drip into your guys' heads that, like, the wedlock is a thing. Oh my gosh, wait, is there a rival battle? I don't remember this. I do not remember this. I do not remember this. It's a rival battle, that's gonna be terrifying, because we only have- It's a wedlock, we can only use one pair. We can only use one pair, god, okay. Hi, Milk, didn't think I'd run into you here. Also, in case you guys don't know, May is another member of the... the, the, the I know, we should have a battle! I want to show you my new Pokemon. Okay, okay, oh god, alright, yup, that is the truth. That is, in fact, the truth. We are battling May right now. I didn't know that this battle existed. I don't remember this game that well. I just know that this is my favorite, my favorite ROM hack, alright? I really loved playing this ROM hack last year. Luckily, you are only level 8, which means we'll honestly be able to just one-shot. Wow! Not even close. Like, we're kind of close, like we hit the yellows, but we... There. We two-shot. Cool. Gosh, we're so close to level 18. We're so close to getting the evolution, yo, bet. Chikorita? Easy! Easy! We can easily one-shot this thing. We're super effective on you, and we're seven levels above, yo, bet. This game just loves to prove me wrong, man. This game just loves to prove me wrong, man. I know Gust is super effective, but I wanted to go for Quick Attack to get that priority. And now, Mysterious is about to evolve. Mysterious is about to evolve. Sparky, you get that experience. Sparky, you level up. Sparky, you hit level 13. Oh, gosh, Sparky's, like, up to par with the rest of the team. Like, everyone else is level 15, except for our main squad. That's actually kind of lit. That is actually kind of lit. I guess I wasn't ready for that, and we just got $1,000. And Pidgey's evolving! Yo, 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 future Ryan, you already know what to do, future Ryan. Add that Pidgeotto to the layout, my dude. Yes. Gosh, all right, let's go ahead real quick. I want to go timestamp Ryan Pidgey evolves after rival battle. There we go. Uh, that was fun, Milk. God, Milk is the dumbest name I could have come up with, but I need my character Milk. Arrival is named Cookies. Milk and Cookies, available Spotify, Google Play, Apple Music, and all other digital retailers. And also, it is a modern-day Christmas classic. Check out the lyric video up on Vinny's channel. I made it. I'm so damn proud of that. God, that was a big old monologue. I have to take a sip of water right now, to be honest. There we go. That felt great. We should do this again sometime. Well, I'd better be going. See ya, Milk! And Cookies, the modern-day Christmas classic. Now available on Spotify, iTunes, Google Play, Apple Music, and all the digital retailers. Check out the Lyric video over on Vinny's channel. I'm pretty damn proud of it. We have another encounter right here. This is a brand new route and a slash or area. And it is a Rattata, so that is dupes.
Now, I'd also like to throw out there. Yo, we're gonna we're gonna swap. Actually, we're gonna swap. Let's put let's put Crystal up in front. I think Crystal would be a pretty decent Pokemon to uh, try to catch other Mons with because it's a normal type. So it's not like anything besides fighting super effective on it. And I don't think uh, Crystal will one shot anything in the grass. But I also want to throw out there. I know our last encounter was a female. This does not need to be a male for that reason. Literally. Uh, because we have a team of six now, we can get any encounter at this point. That does not matter, except for the dupes clause. The dupes clause is a very important clause. But, uh, that's another dupes. That's a lot of dupes. Hopefully, we'll get something in this route that's not dupes. Hopefully, everything in this route isn't dupes. It's gonna take a minute, honestly. Gosh. Rattata, Zubat, Rattata, Rattata, Rattata... Is this route all Rattatas and Zubats? Because if it is, that's going to be disappointing. Because I already have both. It's, gosh, this is disappointing. I want to get an encounter. One of my favorite parts about doing Nuzlocks, Wedlocks, Soul Links, whatever the fuck other lock type that there are, is getting the encounters. That's like the exciting part. I'm just running back and forth with the speed up button. It's not looking like we're getting anything besides Rattatas and Zubats. Yeah, that's a little bit disappointing, to be honest. That is very, very disappointing, to be honest. Aww. It doesn't look like there's anything else in this route besides Zubats and Rattatas. I mean, maybe if I were to play this game during the day, then we wouldn't get a Zubat for an encounter. That might be like a nighttime thing. That's at least what I'm hoping it's gonna be. Geodude. Okay, cool. Uh, it's, it's not that Rock is bad against this pair, because we have Crystal. But Rock isn't the greatest, because Rock is super effective on Crystal's uh, partner, which is Gogeta the Spearow. Uh, so, like, literally, if we run into a Rock-type, Crystal has to take it. If we run into an Electro-type, Crystal has to take it, if we have this pair in action. And then Machop. Okay, now this is actually where the pairs are pretty good between Crystal and Gogeta. Machop is super effective on Crystal. Ain't no way I'm leaving out Crystal against a Machop, but... Gogeta is super effective on Machop, so what Gogeta is super effective on is super effective on Crystal. So that is actually really lit. I'm happy. This pair works out very well for that reason. And Gogeta just got a crit, yo, bet! T-shirt's no longer available, but you know what is available? The modern day Christmas classic, Milk and Cookies. Keyshawn and Vinny made a song together. It's a Christmas classic. That thing is holiday hijinks. That thing is lit. Check it out on Spotify, iTunes, Google Play, Apple Music, and all of the digital retailers. Later video is up on Vinny's channel. I'm pretty damn proud of it. And we just made it to Ziggy Azalea Town. I'm so fancy. You already know I'm in the fast lane from LA to Tokyo. Okay, let me tell you guys all right now. I've been bulk recording. I, this is my second episode I've recorded tonight. I did a live stream before this. I My voice is shot. I need some sleep, my dudes. I need some sleep, my dudes. I need to go to bed and rest my voice because tomorrow we have a live stream and tomorrow I have to record some stuff. I'm breaking the fourth wall a little bit because... I mean, you're not going to be seeing this episode until Sunday, but whatever, whatever. Uh, that's all water under the bridge. Literally how my day is gone today. I went to my high school and I visited with all of um, the uh, underclassmen. I got to talk to my old teachers. I got to teach a percussion class. Uh, it was so cool. In case you guys don't know, I'm a band nerd. I'm in drumline. I love doing that a lot. So I went back to my high school and I hung out in the band room all day. It was so much fun. Uh, I went there with Keyshawn, by the way. We saw Tony. We saw Jacob. We saw a whole bunch of awesome, great friends. And I'm happy that I went to my high school for a day. Uh, so that's what I did today. I had to wake up at 8 a.m. in order to go to school. <laughs> I love how I'm done with my college uh, freshman semester one, and I'm still going to school. I'm going to my high school. But, uh, you yeah, know, I woke up at 8 a.m. today, went to school. As soon as I got home from school, your boy worked for a little bit. After that, your boy went out to dinner with his parents. We went to a Mexican place. And then as soon as I got home from dinner, I live streamed Super Mario 64. And then I started recording two episodes. This is my second episode in a row. So today has been nonstop, but it's been a very productive day. So I'm happy with how the day's gone. Anyways... Uh, I'm gonna call that there. We've been recording for over 30 minutes. This is definitely full length episode. So in the next episode is when we're gonna be doing all the slow poke well stuff, all of the second gym stuff. I know I kind of hyped that up at the beginning of today's episode, but I'm sorry, it's a little bit of a cock tease, but it's a full length episode. I want all these episodes to be about 30 minutes. I don't want any like hour powers if we if we can prevent it, because honestly, like it's not that I don't like the hour powers, but if we had hour powers in every episode, that ruins the hour powers being special, I guess. So with that being said. 
Thank you everybody so much for watching today's episode of the Pokemon Christmas Wedlock. If you enjoyed it, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and all that fun bullshit. And I'll see you all in the next episode where we'll be taking on the Slowpoke Well and we'll be taking on Bugsy, the second gym of Azalea Town. I'll see you all then. Peace, peace. Merry Christmas. It was just one sunny day here in Georgia, and me and my brother was like, you know what, we haven't messed with David in a very long time. Let's put Laxative in his pre-workout. So we, we crunched up... <laughs> your face. <laughs> we crunched up like... You're so mean! We crunched up like three Laxative pills and put in his protein shake. So first off, we had to kill...